Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you've just started taking hair vitamins or have been taking them for a while now, you may have noticed that your face or body, if you get acne all over your body, has been more prone to breakouts. I know I have, especially the first year that I started using them, but do not fall into despair, people, because your girl is going to give you her five proven methods to prevent acne while taking vitamins. So, let's do it. So before we get to my five tips, I wanted to first explain what aspect of your vitamins is causing your acne. And you guys, it really is a simple explanation. It is the excess amount of Bile. I do understand that having that coursing through your veins at a tremendous amount is supposed to be a great thing, but it's actually not. And the reason being is that biotin works alongside the vitamin B5. Together, they form a balance that promotes your healthy skin. But when you are taking your hair vitamins and unbeknownst to you, there is an unequal balance of biotin to vitamin B5 concentration found inside of your vitamins. And that unequal balance of biotin to B5 is what causes your acne. Without that balance of B5 to biotin, you cannot keep biotin in check. Thus, you will have your acne. And with that being said, Let's just jump into the tips, shall we? Tip number one. And I do think that this may be the most important tip. And honestly, it's the one that many people typically neglect, which is drinking the necessary amounts of water that your body needs. Now, it has been said that drinking at least eight glasses of water helps the body. That's like the minimum. However, you have to learn what your body needs, like me. I started off drinking a gallon of water when I saw that my acne was becoming more prevalent on my skin. However, I realized that the more water that I took in, the more clear that my urine became. And I know TMI, but that isn't really healthy. That means that I'm overly hydrated. Now I drink about nine glasses of water, which is calculated by this container here, which you guys know I bought it from Dollar Tree. And this is way better. It's way easier also to drink this amount of water every day as opposed to drinking a gallon and my body still gets every single thing that it needs plus a little bit more so i recommend starting with this container versus starting with a gallon like if, if you really want to control how much you're drinking and you really want to watch what you're drinking get this container because a gallon is just way it's just way too daunting so once again here is that container that i was referring to i talked about it in my last video as well and I want to say this, I do not just pour any kind of water in here. The only type of water that I drink is water that has been purified by my water filter. So here is my water purifier and we purchased this from Walmart. I believe it was $20. They had it on sale for 50% off. So of course you guys know about them deals. Your girl don't play. But this is the only type of water that I drink. My water has to be purified. And the reason being is that I've noticed that when I started drinking purified water versus just drinking the water straight from tap, my skin really cleared up. So we already know that when we're taking our vitamins, our body's getting smacked around with an influx of just nutrients and vitamins all over the place. You wanna make sure that your water is as clean as possible because you don't want anything unhealthy to mess up what you're trying to do. So people, think about what you eat as well as think about what you drink. Your water may be the key to everything. People, the reason why drinking the necessary amounts of water is very important because water is the main component in increasing blood circulation so that you can move the nutrients in and out of your body. And also people, think about it like this. If your body is not getting the excess nutrients out of your body through your urine, then your body is going to find alternate routes of getting that stuff out, which 99% of the time usually is your skin. So if you do not want your skin to suffer, the best thing to do is help your body's processes by drinking your necessary amounts of water. Because like I said, the more water you drink, 
the more your body is going to have to work to move that stuff out. You want it out and you want it out fast. And you want it out naturally. Tip number two, along with drinking the necessary amount of water that your body needs to be healthy, you should be ingesting in the necessary amount of nutrients that your body needs from your food. Your food can act as a water supplement. Not saying that you can eat a salad or something which is full of water and you don't have to drink any more water anymore. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, say for instance, you missed a cup of water or something during the day, your food can act as your body's plan B to get the necessary water that your body needs. Because as we all know, your food holds nutrients and it holds water. So think about that when you're thinking about what you're gonna cook. That may be also equally just as important as how much water you drink during the day. Which brings me to tip number three which is exercising. Now everybody knows that exercising increases blood circulation. That's what you want. You want these vitamins to do what they need to do in your body, to go where they need to go and to move out. Tip number four. So if you've been drinking necessary amounts of water, you've been eating right, you even started exercising, but you still notice that your skin is not doing well, you may need to do this you may need to decrease the amount of supplements that you take. So say for instance, your bottle says that you need to take at least two vitamins a day, morning and night with food. What if your body can't do it? You have to listen to what your body needs people, not necessarily what these manufacturers tell you to do. If the bottle says you need to take two a day and your body can't take two a day, you can't take two a day. And the way that you figure out whether or not you can or cannot take two a day is basically running a little bit of an experiment. So you start by taking one every day for a whole week. And if you see maybe one or two pimples, you're fine. That's like normal. But if you take two a day for a whole week and you see your pimples multiplying like the plague, then you know that taking one vitamin a day is better for your skin. So people, I recommend just experimenting with it. You never know because it's not something that is a wide known thing for people to wanna to find out about themselves. And last but not least, tip number five. Now along with taking just one vitamin a day for seven days a week versus taking two vitamins a day, the next thing that you need to do, and this is probably the most important thing, which is to rotate or skip days to allow yourself a break. For example, I put myself on a routine where I only took it four days a week. And even with that, I skipped days. So say for instance, I said, okay, I'm gonna take the vitamin on Monday. That means I would skip Tuesday, take it on Wednesday. Skip Thursday, take it on Friday and so forth. The reason why I did this is because it gave my body time to process the vitamin out. So the days where I wasn't taking the vitamin, I was scarfing down water, trying to make sure that I was getting the vitamin that I took yesterday out. And that completely turned my whole acne around. Like, as you can see right now, I don't have any acne erupting on my skin. And right now I am taking hair vitamins. Now you do not have to skip days. If you decide to take your vitamins four days a week, you decide to take five days a week and then take a two day break, that's completely fine. You have to figure out what is necessary for your body and what you can do. So let's recap. If you are trying to prevent acne while taking vitamins, because maybe you're that person who doesn't get acne and you just started taking vitamins and you realize your acne is all over the place, you need to do these five things. You need to increase the amount of water you drink you need to increase the amount of nutrients and vitamin rich foods that you take in. You need to be exercised. You also can decrease the amount of vitamins that you're supposed to take. So if you're supposed to take two, you can just take one. And last but not least, you can increase the amount of days that you have to take them. You do not have to take them every single day to see great results with vitamins. So if you guys benefited from this type of information, let me know in the comments because I do have a lot more tips and tricks on how to grow long hair, on how to prevent acne, all that good stuff. So with that being said, you guys know what I'm about to say. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because you guys know I'm very active in the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. That really, really does make my day. So I will see you guys 
in the next one.